Okay, let's give you guys an example of double integration. So our job is to work out the volume um, underneath this surface uh, within this uh, within this specified region. So this dA here, we can imagine this dA here as being dx times dy, or we can imagine as dy by dx. It really doesn't matter. It will be the same thing. So the first step is to understand this region. What is this region talking about? So let's draw a diagram to try and understand it. So uh, the diagram x, y. Um, remember, we are talking about x and y such that uh, this will be will always be satisfied, and this will always be satisfied. So let's just look at this bit here. Let's just look at this bit here. Let's 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 write as two x equals x. Now rearrange it to make y the subject. So you are talking about a straight line of gradient a half, which will look something like this: gradient of a half. So it could be it could be this region here, or it could be this region here. So looking at this bit here, hang on. Looking at um, looking at looking at this bit here. Um, looking at that bit here. Let's select a random point. Let's let's select this point here. 10 comma 1 and let's select a, another random point 1 across 10 up so this is 1 across 10 up so uh, this is your X this is your Y so looking at this two lots of Y would be two lots of Y would be 20 and then one lot of X would be 1 would be 1 so is is 1 bigger or equal to 20 in this case 1 is not bigger than uh, than 20 so um, so this is a bad region if you look at this point here this point here well this is your X this is your Y um, two lots of Y two lots of Y would be 2 and one lot of X would be 10 you can see that this 10 here is bigger or equal to to uh, to 2 so this is a good region so we are talking about this region here as opposed to what's up here. We know what's up here is a bad region. We are interested in what's below that line. So our our region is really talking about this. Hang on. Gradient of a half. So we are talking about this region here. But then if, if you look at this bit here, x must be less than or equal to two. So this is two here. So it has to be it has to be this region here. But then if you look at this bit here, y must be bigger or equal to zero. So, uh, so it must be talking about this bit here. So, really, our region is is this region here. Okay, this is our region. Um, you writing this region is really you talking about this region here. So, what that means is this. What that means is this. Um, the origin in the in the diagram is somewhere around here. It's two across, uh, two across. So this is our two here, and then one up, because it's a gradient of a half. So we are talking about this region here. So our job is to work out the volume um, underneath this surface within 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 this region here. Okay. So so now that we know the region, now that we know the region, we need to set it up. Remember, this is dA here. So it could be we could use dx by dy, or we can use dy by dx. Um, in this case, you can use both. You can either you can either do dx by dy, in which case you will be um, well. Remember, you are always moving in parallel to whatever's here. In this case, it's parallel in the x direction. So you can you can set it up like this. So really, you're move if you if you want the um, dx uh, first, then uh, then you've got to move in this direction. And this line here is y equals a half uh, x over two. Um, so you're you're moving from x equals sorry, yeah x equals. Um, well, rearrange it to make x a subject. So it's two y here. So uh, x equals two y two uh, two. Well, you stop at here, which will be um, x equals two this number here too so you're moving you start from here which is this thing here and then you move all the way to the number two so you start here you move all the way here so you start here and then you move and stop right here 
right here. Um, so that's just to give you a glimpse of what's going on. But I want to illustrate it with dy by dx as opposed to dx by dy. You could do dx by dy. Uh, let's just randomly select dy by dx. So in this case, dy by dx, whatever's first, it's going to be parallel to whatever's first. So it's going to be parallel to the y-axis. So this is the y-axis. It's always parallel like this. Like this. So um, so you start you start here and then you stop here. You start here, you stop here. You start here, you stop here. Uh, remember this line here is y equals um, x over 2. So uh, so we are, we are going to work with dy and then dx, dy and then dx. So that means this thing here must match us up with, so this must be y equal something. This must be y equal something. So th this y, this y must match up with this thing here. Okay, And it's, it is confusing when you first meet double integration, but after a while you, you will build up your experience. So we start here, which would be, what's the, the height, the y value here would be 0, is 0. So y equals 0, and then you move all the way up to here. What's the y value here? The y value here would be x over 2, x over 2. So, so this is how you set up the first part, the first part. And then, uh, and then you're, what, how are you scanning? Uh, lo looking at this dx here, you can see that you have to scan all the way through from 0, from zero to 2. So you have to scan through from, so this x here, x equals, x equals, and then x equals, and then you have to scan through from 0 all the way to 2, from 0 all the way to 2. So, so to, to, to set this up, it has to be like this. It has to be, um, looking at this here, you have to, in, in the x direction, you need to scan through from 0 to 2. So what that means is this, hang on. Going back to here, um, going back to here, you, you're, you're actually doing this. You're actually doing this, and you're scanning from zero all the way to two, from zero all the way to two. And um, and if if you um, if you have trouble visualizing what's going on, hang on, let me put this back in here. Um, D what was it? D y and then D x and y equals. Um, Hang on, let, let me think. Uh, y equals 0 to y equals x over 2. And this was x equals from 0 to 2. From 0 to 2. Okay, um, this is how you set it up. Um, but if you if you ever get confused, then revert back to, um, to Riemann's summation. So you've got double summation here. Uh, hang on. Let me clear this, and then it's going to be whatever your function is, and then in our case is delta delta y and then delta x. So let's just say this is i equals one and j equals one. So when when j equals one, hang on, what I'm trying to illustrate to you here is um, if you forget if if you can't follow this, look what look revert back to Riemann's summation and then it will give you a clue so when when y um so when j equals 1 so this pairs up with this here on the outside here so x is constant so when x is 1 um then when 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 x is 1 this thing here is going to loop around it's going to loop around and the looping around is moving in the y direction so it's doing this it's summing up all the blocks and then i gets incremented by one, so now uh, when j sorry when j equals two, you move to the next one, and then this loops around, and then it's doing this. It's summing up all the blocks here, and then it, then uh, j gets incremented to three. So now uh, and then everything else loops around here, so it's doing this. So this bit here is actually moving in the y direction like this. It's summing up everything in this region, and then. And then j gets incremented again, um, and then and then it loops around like this. So it's going to loop around, loop around, loop around, loop around. Increment j again. So you're talking about the next one, um, and then this thing here loops around. So it's moving up like this. It's moving up like this. And you can see that this bit here must scan from zero to two.
that's why you've got from 0 to 2 so this thing here on the outside here it has to move it has to move from 0 to 2 and this looping around thing in here is really you moving along the the uh, well along along delta delta y so it's moving up like this I hope you can follow that. I will continue in the next video. So we are currently at this. Well, actually, I'll finish the video. If you um, now nah, I will continue in the next video. Okay.